myself mrs rama randanga lecturer in electronics and telecommunication department from pran patel college of diploma engineering and technology bangalore today i am going to explain chapter number 1 of cel audio fundamentals part 1 learning outcomes are basic characteristics of sound signal audio amplifier concept microphone working principle and loudspeaker working principle these are the basic characteristics of sound signal so level and loudness sound is measured in units called as decibels higher the decibel level louder the noise so on the decibel scale level increases of 10 means that sound is actually 10 times more intense or powerful frequency response it shows the characteristics of open fidelity it is defined as the ability of audio amplifier to response all the sound frequencies faithfully that is amplify all the frequencies equally sensitivity it is the ability of human ear to detect the weakest signal it is a low intensity signal the sensitivity of human ear is as low as 0.1 power watt by n square amplitude and loudness amplitude of sound determines the loudness or volume so loudness is perceived as how loud or soft a sound is and it is related to audio now stimulated over short cycle time period in mono uh, mono real sound one signal a single channel is used so it can be produced through several speaker but all the speakers are still producing the same copy of signal in stereophonic sound more channels are used you can use the two different channels and make one feed one speaker and a second channel feed a second speaker so this is used to create the directionality and space so here is a example using a two speaker setup so this is the difference between the mono and stereo amplifier so stereo amplifier in stereophonic amplifier at least two independent amplifiers are used so this pair of amplifiers is known as stereo amplifier while in case of mono amplifier there is only one amplifier is used stereo amplifier gives a three dimensional sound mono amplifier gives two dimensional sound here no sense of direction mono amplifier gives the sense of direction they call natural is there and uh, there is uh, in case of uh, natural lack of naturalness is there in case of mono amplifier while in case of stereo naturalness is there next characteristics is the frequency and pitch so pitch tells how high or low sound is a higher the pitch will have the greater frequency higher frequency have a smaller wavelength difference between the pitch and loudness as the loudness increases or decreases pitch uh, decrease or pitch increase microphone types microphone working uh, microphone is a transducer which is a device that changes the information from one form to another it converts the sound information that exists as a patterns of air pressure into patterns of electric current different types of microphones are available for proper production of various types of sounds like music talks drama and sports commentaries but microphone must fulfill certain requirement to be really useful for the purpose for which it has been designed so microphone type is carbon microphone so it has a diaphragm and the carbon granules are there fixed die electrode is there so the basic concept behind the carbon microphone is the fact that when the carbon granules are compressed their resistance decreases it occurs the uh, because the granules come into the better contact with each other and they are pushed together by the higher pressure so the carbon microphone comprises carbon granules that are contained within a small contain that is covered with a thin metal diaphragm so the battery is also required to cause a current to flow through the microphone carbon microphone consists of two metal plates 
separated by granules of carbon. One plate faces the outward and acts as a diaphragm. So when the sound wave strikes this plate, the pressure of granule changes and uh, electrical resistance between the two plates. And therefore the, uh, the carbon microphones were ideal choice of microphone in the early days of telephone. It is very noisy, poor frequency response and requires a battery or other supply for operation. So applications are used in telephones, hearing aids, public address systems, motion picture production, live and recorded, audio engineering, two-wave radios, megaphones and computers for recording wise speech recognition. Condenser microphone. So this is a diagram for condenser microphone. Condenser microphone is a capacitor. So diaphragm uh, acts as a metal strip suspended next to the charged electric plate. In condenser microphone, diaphragm is one side of capacitor which moves in uh, reaction to changes in sound field. Since the two plates are charged, the motion changes the voltage between the two plates and this voltage changes the induced electron flow. So condenser mics require some sort of external power supply or battery. And because the diaphragm is very light, condenser mics can have high limited response and tend to much more sensitive than dynamic microphone. Crystal microphone. A crystal microphone is based on the principle of piezoelectric effect which is defined as difference of potential between the two opposite faces of some crystals is produced when these are subjected to mechanical pressure. So the crystals which shows the effect of are quartz, thermoline and rocket salt and ceramic. Crystals which demonstrate the piezoelectric effect produce the voltages when they are deformed. The crystal microphone uses a thin strip of piezoelectric material attached to a diaphragm. The two sides of crystal require opposite charges when the crystal is deflected by the diaphragm. The charges are proportional to the amount of deformation and disappear when the stress on the crystal disappears. Each crystal microphone used a rocket salt because of its high output but it was sensitive to motion and somewhat fragile. So later microphones used the ceramic materials such as barium, titanium and lead ginkgo. So electric output of crystal microphones is comparatively large but the frequency response is not comparable to good dynamic microphones. So they are not serious contingent for the music market. Crystal microphones is cut along the certain planes to form a slice. Thank you.